Good day, we're going to one more channel. As you can notice, we have a new intro, and we rank 122nd in La Flu du Mal, aka the evil followers of evil. And this is Gulutin. So, Gulutin is like a Marvel Contest of Champions kind of a unique hero. So, she wets this sword, a bit of backstory of this sword. Some guy found it in Parisian catacombs and saw a bad loaf to have this sword. So this sword has a thirst for blood. And Gulatin is a character that wets this sword. As you can see, all her special attacks are in French. So first off, her special attack is La Fleurs de Donsat, which means the strength on, of ancestors. So basically what this does is it's just a sword attack using the force of ancestors, maybe the blood of ancestors. Mm -hmm. And her second special attack is Coup de Monsieur, which means heavy blow. So what this special attack does is Golotin sword will consume two souls to place a phantasm on the opponent reversing all active healing effects for 10 seconds yay so basically it's something like a heal block and for her third special special attack it is coup de gehaz which is a final blow or shot given to kill a wounded person or animal an action or event that serves as accumulation of a bad or deteriorating situation so that's quite a name for her third special attack. So what her third special attack does is basically consumes all available souls and deal 2% of the opponent's health in direct damage over 0 seconds per soul consumed. So if you consume a lot of souls, you can deal a lot of damage. So it's like 2% of opponent's health, you know, per soul. It doesn't say whether it's a maximum health or it's a current health that we shall see. And this is Gulatin. And what do you like about Gulatin? Uh, she looks, she looks okay. Her model looks slim, slender, dressed in red. Maybe it's a dress of blood, cause you know the color of blood. Cause the sword is like the sword, the evil flowers that desire blood, probably. Yeah, and this sword is kind of interesting. You can see that it's a long sword. Is it a broad sword? It seems like a broad sword. That uses the power of blood to deal some interesting damage. It's a she's a mystic character, so you can guess the so must have some kind of mystical properties. It's, it apparently has some dark supernatural powers, and the will of the sword is strong. The thirst of blood is luminous. Apparently, by slashing our champions, you know, in the special events, the there's a mission. The good thing comes to us to say that you must fight me with my blade, so I can you know charge my blade. They don't work well against these symbolites or whatever. And basically, that does that mean that. Our character, our, the summoner that we are playing is says the champions that we control when they fight against them is able to, you know, prevent this sword from his sinister instincts being invoked or being awakened. That's kind of interesting thought when you talk, think about it. Does it mean the summoner is kind of, kind of like, I don't know, ah, uh, the sword is kind of interesting. Interesting backstory, interest, not so interesting design, looks a bit. The handle looks a bit dull, at least the blade and the hilt looks not bad. The handle looks dull though. And apparently she's of French Algerian heritage. And it has something to do with a bloodline to inherit this sword, which is interesting. So all in all, that's Gulatin. And she is awesome. As you can see later, she is awesome. She slashes fast, she has a wide reach. And these are the souls that she consumed. Slashing animations is not bad. And now let's take a look at her first special attack. La Feroz de Donset. So basically, La Feroz de Donset is just uh, two, two swing. Just two slashes of the sword. And now let's take a look at her. Continue to take a look at her fighting animations. Interesting. Her strong, uh, strong attack is kind of interesting, also known as uppercut. Wide range of the sword, far reaching, deals quite a bit of damage. And this is her second special attack, Coup de Monsieur, which is heavy blow. You can see that it does a special kind of debuff when it has souls to consume. So this is the new kind of icon for 
her anti heal debuff and this is her third special attack which is Kudu Gehas. so you can see a lot of flashy animation in her Kudu Gehas special attack four so why, why are there four blood gals that stab your opponent that's interesting so perhaps there's animation for the souls being consumed but given that at the start of the third special attack I only have two so there should be two if the animation goes through so probably that's not the case but it's kind of interesting it's probably default for no matter how many souls you have accumulated remember the more souls that you have accumulated the more damage you deal which so adds an additional 2% of your opponent's health which should be dealt over 0 seconds so it's like immediately the damage is dealt so as we have not accumulated a lot of souls the damage is not as awesome as it would be if we have accumulated a lot of souls and that is Gulatin awesome character awesome gameplay kind of interesting mechanics and she has a mysterious blade that drains some blood deals quite a lot of quite a decent amount of damage wide reaching fast and she's awesome but probably she's not that good for alliance quest that remains to be seen and that's all thank you for watching and have a great day goodbye